hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about logo animation text animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Me Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is 1 minute. And background color, I'm going to choose white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to choose Poppins extra bold version and font color is black. And I'm going to type my first text which is M let's uh, select this text and change the font size to 200 select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select this hit ctrl d i'm going to call it as o v e okay so i have created this four alphabets which is says move so let's uh, arrange it line wise by holding shift i'm going to move this over here select this v let's move this over here select this e and let's move this over here okay now select all of them and let's bring this properly over here okay properly at the center now select all of them and hit ctrl d and let's bring them downward change the color of this one to yellow and we will hide this as well as we will lock this now select all of these layers press p for position select those position keyframes right click and choose separate dimensions like this so like this now go to around one second we will create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y go to around start create another keyframe then press s create one keyframe atu go to around one second again create another keyframe now at the start scale should be 10 then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and change the x position somewhere around over here so we'll get something like this and at this point i'm going to change y position somewhere around over here now in search option i'm going to type y only so i'll get y position keyframe go few frame forward to around 10 second create another keyframes and in middle of that we will bring this a little bit upward okay now select those y position keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit uh, select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here zoom in a little bit select this move one handle over here and one handle over here one handle over here and one handle over here like this then go to the start press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u then go over here and let's make this one complete rotation like this okay so this is how we will get now uh, as i said that we have already created this layers let's enable this okay then uh, hit uh, u then go over here select those keyframe create one keyframe over here then go somewhere around over here create another keyframe go to somewhere around over here and we will bring this downwards like this okay so we'll get something like this now now we need to adjust them one by one so i'm going to take a distance of five frames so select this o and this o and let's move this over here 
let's go to around 10 frames select this v and this v move this over here go to around 15 frames select this e and this e and let's move this over here okay now go to the start by holding alt open square bracket i'll trim this up to this so if you see you will get something like this and one thing i forgot to do or uh, that we need to select this layers press s and make sure the initial scale of each and every one should be zero okay so we will get something like this okay and now select all of this move, move text press ctrl shift c and let's call it as move and hit ok then go to the start select this rectangle and we are going to create one mask on this layer like this so now if you see this animation we are getting something like this we will select this mask let's select this mask and let's move this a little bit upward okay like this we will go inside this we will select this o let's bring this a little bit downward like this okay and if you go around over here we can see see we are getting this animation continuously now select all of them and press uh, uh, select all of them press ctrl shift c and we will call it as animation select this hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards press t for opacity and let's make this 40 select this go to the rectangle and we we'll create one mask on it go to the mask option and increase the feathers like this select this press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity like this so we'll get this animation continuously now go inside this press f4 enable the motion blur similarly over here enable the motion blur like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of simple text animation you can simply right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null and let's increase the size a little bit so you can create this kind of animation and press ctrl y to create one solid background so this is how you can create this kind of stuff